Hi, I'm Deborah from South Essex Slings, and this video is showing the Sleepy Nico baby carrier um, in a back carry. I'm going to use the hip scoop method to get baby around. Uh, so, waistband goes on, and because baby's on your back, they're probably going to sit a little bit higher than when you front carry. So you can start with the waistband a little bit higher than possibly you would when they're on your front. You can start with it slightly off centre, you can start with it completely centred, doesn't matter. You will then make sure that there's a little bit of room in your shoulder straps. You need to get your arms through them, so don't have them too tight. Then we will find baby. So, position baby centrally into that carrier. So if you have got it on the side, just be mindful that baby's bottom is still in the center of that carrier. And you want baby's bottom not sat right on the top of that waistband, but just dropped slightly over the top of it. That will give baby a nice deep seat. And then bring the carrier up over baby's back. So they're nice and secure in there. Then what we're going to do, bring the straps over baby's shoulders. If you have an older child and they want their arms out, that's absolutely fine. Bring these underneath their armpits. So they'll come round to the front and I'm gonna take baby round to my right hand side. So I'm holding the straps together in front of baby's face in my left hand. So both of those nice and securely held really quite close to baby. I'm gonna take my right hand and it goes in the middle of the straps and holds them. I then start to slide baby around my back. Now my elbow needs to go somewhere. My elbow needs to come between me and baby and out through that front strap. Then I can continue sliding baby round until I feel baby nice and central on my back. Now this strap already on, so I need to reach behind my neck for the other strap and don't let go of it until your arm is in. And you can clip your chest clip up and then start to tighten. So these are gonna pull forwards to tighten. But what you're gonna to need to do is pull the slack from baby round towards that buckle and then tighten it up. Slack from baby towards the buckle and then tighten and that stops you pulling baby's back really splat and flat into you and gets the slack out of those shoulder straps. So if you want baby higher, it's a case of getting that waistband higher on your body. <clears throat> so safety checks, same as a front carry, baby's airways need to be clear and visible. If you can't physically see them, you can use your phone in um, phone camera or you can buy sling mirrors which attach to the carrier and you can have a little look like that. So airways are clear and visible and baby needs to be snug to you so that they can't slip out or slump inside that carrier. So to get baby back down again, you're gonna reverse what you did. So we unclip the clip, we take left arm out if you're coming round to your right side, right arm out if you're coming out round to your left side. So keeping hold of this strap because baby if we let go of this baby's going to fall out so we need to keep hold of this strap pass it behind your neck to your other hand your other hand now holds both straps nice and securely and you can start to slide baby round back to your front hand on baby and then you can let go of the straps hope that was helpful if you've got any questions pop me a message and um, if not enjoy your cuddles